If you want to create interesting and engaging promos and openers in After Effects, this video will change everything. And this isn't one of those to copy exactly what I'm creating After Effects tutorials, but rather the blueprint that will show you four techniques to help you create exciting and engaging promos. So if you're ready to create an opener or an awesome promo video in After Effects, please be sure to drop a like on the video and let's get started. And as always, you can download the project files for free. The link's in the description below. Like any good opener or promo, you should start with your imported footage right away. And when you have your footage or a photo imported, just go to Layer Pre-Compose. You can call it footage or placeholder, click OK. So in our very first step, we're gonna create the background movement of our scene so we can get everything rolling. So one of my favorite effects is under Stylize and it's Motion Tile. So for example, I can come here to Tile Center and just move this over in one direction like this. And you'll see this will repeat our image and I can come here to Phase and this will kind of offset it as well in a unique way. And I really like what we have going here. So this is a cool technique that you can use. But what I wanna do is come here to almost a second, add a keyframe for Tile Center and Phase, go back to the beginning of our timeline and come here to the Y value and just increase this to like 3000. And then I'll come here to Phase and adjust this as well. And then I'll take my last phase keyframe and move it over to almost two seconds. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna have this initial scroll and one side of the image is still going to animate. But after this initial transition, I want this to completely slide over to the left back to original view. So then I'm gonna add a keyframe for tile center, move forward again, and set the X position just to put this back how it was originally. Now the keyframe animation is absolutely terrible. So what I'm gonna do is select all these keyframes, hit F9 on my keyboard, go to the graph editor, and just go ahead and move these handles in so we can variate the animation by a little bit. Do what you want, but experiment with this so you can create unique animations. Now, so now I want to be a little bit more unique with this and go to edit split layer. I'm going to remove the keyframes and reset the motion tile effect. So now we have our very first camera movement here. And then for the second layer, I want to adjust the movement again. So what I'm going to do is hit ask my keyboard for scale, move forward in time, add a keyframe for it, and then go back to that cut and then reduce the scale. And then I'm going to increase the output width and the output height. Select that last keyframe, make it easy ease and smooth it out here in the graph editor all the way to the left. However, make sure you turn on motion blur for these layers. And obviously you don't want a jarring cut. So what I'm gonna do is come here to layer, new adjustment layer. I'm gonna go to effect, generate fill. Set the color to white. Hit T on keyboard for opacity, set a keyframe for that there and move forward by a couple of frames. Set the opacity to 0%, go past the last keyframe and set it back to 0%. So by using the motion tile effect and the dip to white that we just added, you can add really awesome movements to your openers and promos. So next up, I wanna talk about adding some detail to our project, which are using these abstract shapes. Very simple and easy to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new composition. I'll call it shapes and move on. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and select any shape that I want. So I can grab the ellipse tool, turn off the fill, turn on the stroke use stroke with a 20, for example, and just go ahead and create a perfect circle by holding shift on our keyboard. Now, the main thing that I have to do is just hit T on my keyboard for opacity, add a keyframe, move forward by one frame, set the opacity to 0%, and then move forward past the last keyframe by two frames and set it back down to 0%. Okay, so then what I wanna do is alt click the stopwatch and type in loop out with a capital O, open close parenthesis, just like this. And we'll have this flickering uh, shape in here. Very simple to create and easy to work with. So now what I'm gonna do is take this layer, move it randomly in my comp, hit my keyboard for scale, scale it down, make it a little smaller if you wanna do that. And then go to edit, duplicate, and I'll just randomly create a bunch of duplicates, move it randomly around our composition, uh, and it's gonna look great. Another thing I wanna do is just slightly offset these in our timeline just by a few frames because I don't want them flickering in at the same exact moment in time. So here's what we have and it's looking good. Now I can show you how you can apply this to other shapes real fast. So for example, I can just grab the text tool uh, and do like a plus symbol. And then I'll just go to my opacity here, copy the keyframes and paste it to the new symbol. And it'll have that expression and everything. So then I can take the shape that I just created, move it around my comp and do the same exact thing with that new shape. So feel free to create whatever sort of shape map that you wanna create. Uh, I also trimmed up the out points of some of these layers so we wouldn't have so many at you know the same exact moment. So feel free to create different shapes and variate the design. But when you're happy with that, then go back to your main composition, bring the shapes composition that we were just working with and bring it into your comp. Set the blend mode of our new shape layer to overlay, so it'll look nice. All right, so next up, we need to talk about how to quickly create some titles to you know, add some information to your opener. So I already have two text layers in here and I wanna show some unique ways to animate these. So I can open up my main title and go to animate and add a tracking property. I'll add a keyframe for the tracking amount. I'll go to the first frame and I'll increase the tracking. But then what I wanna do is go to effect time and grab posterize time and I'll set this to five. 
And what this is gonna do is kind of glitch the title animation. But then I wanna add a flickering effect to this. So then I'll go and add an opacity. This will add animator two, or at least it should. And then set the opacity to 0%, open range selector one. I'm then gonna set the end percent down to like 15%. Open the advanced tab and set randomized order to on and alt click stopwatch random seed type in time asterisk 20. So this is looking absolutely thrilling, especially when you apply it to other titles as well. Uh, but now you know how to get your titles going. If, and if you're interested in more title designs, you can download our free 100 template pack here for After Effects and also Premiere Pro. You'll be able to use our motion duck extension window where you can easily preview and apply templates. Obviously, you can change colors, text, and other parameters to fit your project needs. And if you really like our extension, you can check out our other 20,000 templates that you can use anytime with the links in the description below. So the last thing I want to talk about is adding just at least one creative effect to your overall promo so you can make it a little bit more engaging and interesting. So it's really easy what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and I'll go to Effect uh, Channel, and I'm going to use Invert. Okay, and that looks really interesting when you apply it to a good image, but I'm gonna grab the ellipse tool and I'm just going to create a mask like this. You hold down shift and command or control on your keyboard and you know, it'll at least be applied to this one area. But then if I come here and trim up the in and out points of this adjustment layer, I could have this just pop up for a few frames. And that's gonna add a nice, interesting touch to our promo video. And this is where I invite you to take a look at other effects than just the invert effect. For example, I can try shift channels or I can use a number of color correction effects. Heck, I can even go to stylize. Uh, but for example, if I just apply, say, shift channels, I turn off one of the channels here, and this gives us a completely unique look. And then I can just duplicate this layer. You know, maybe over here, I just wanna have invert up instead of the shift channels effect. So I have this, and then I'll go to here. Um, another thing we could do, instead of using a circle, you can delete that mask, grab, say, like the rectangle tool, and just happy to apply it to this portion of the screen, for example. Or you don't have to use any mask at all. But feel free to put this together in any way that you want. There's no wrong answer. Just have fun and create something awesome. And for this last RGB glitch effect, I actually applied this from our VFX pack here in our Motion Duck extension. You know, this is where I can easily apply VFX and other type of templates to any After Effects project. and you know, make a big difference in my work with one click of a button. So if you want to check this pack out or learn how to do RGB effect glitches, go ahead and check our links in the description below. So I hope you learned something great from this video. If you're new to our YouTube channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and always be creative.